So today we're going to be talking about Beyblade Burst Chozetsu episode 32. I actually really enjoyed this episode. So after the recap and everything, it follows Aiga and Ranjiro going to the Dead Grand's castle. And before it happens, Aiga's in the plan with Ranjiro and he actually has a dream that he's battling against hearts. And during this battle, he gets really angry and he actually bursts dead Hades. But then after the like the dream dead Hades comes back and defeats Aiga and he wakes up from the dream. So hearts and everyone is setting up for their guests. You can see Earl Knights right there. I actually believe from what I read, uh, Earl's supposed to be sort of like this thief who steals rare bays. So that's probably why they have uh, those Musou bays. I'm not too sure what bay specifically has. I would assume it's the prize bay on materials, but I'm not too sure. There's also a little bit more backstory to Earl Knight, but just for this episode, we're gonna be uh, moving on. So they're preparing and everything. So during all this, uh, Volt is testing out his new Chozetsu Valkyrie with Free. He's actually losing a lot to Free because he's not used to this uh, new upgrade to the bay, just like when he got uh, uh, God Valkyrie, and then after when he had Winning Valkyrie, he needs to adjust to that newfound power. So, uh, Aiga and Ranjiro are at uh, Dead Grand's castle, and they meet up with uh, Kyle, and I guess Kyle wants to get payback from the Battleship Cruise. So they're gonna be going against each other. It's Aiga versus Kyle. I mean, Ranjiro won his battle against Kyle, but Aiga's like, no, let me handle this guy. So after that, uh, Volt actually connects with Chozitsu Valkyrie and he gets a new launch. And it's a silly launch. He, he just spins around and he launches the bay. So after that, the I don't know what the mode is called. You can tell me in the comment section below, but like the wings that are inside that lair open up. And Fafnir uses its Absorb Break on Valkyrie and is about to burst, but Valkyrie has its uh, Burst Stopper, the little red tab that's right there. And then after he bursts guys Fafnir, which I thought was really cool. I loved uh, Volt getting his new launch and uh, showing off his new Valkyrie. The avatar for Valkyrie looks really awesome. So moving on in this episode, Aiga gets really, really filled with Dark Power. And before he bursts uh, Hazard Kerbeus, he breaks Kyle's mask. Poor Kyle, man. He just lost to Free. Now he's losing to Aiga. His base destroyed. So during all this, Hart is like, I, like recording the events live as it's going on at the Dead Grand's castle, and everyone's watching like uh, Fubuki's with Shu, and they're watching the events. And from what I can tell, there's a level of stages you have to go through to get the Heart. So Kyle was the first stage, and. Yeah, that's Fubuki and Sue. So Kyle was the first stage. Next up is going to be, was it Dr. Evil with uh, the Musou bays that they were setting up? That's the next preview. So we're going to see Orb Egus in action, which will be very interesting to see. I see Aiko with some barrier on Z Achilles, so maybe he's going to try to practice his defense. And he does go against the Musou bays, which I thought was really, really cool. Because it gives purpose to it. I mean, so did, uh, so did Strike God Valkyrie. It was also in uh, the anime. Now, I don't think... Um, a little off topic, but I don't think Hasbro is going to do it. Because they didn't really do the Infinity Strike God Valkyrie. Or at least do a lair that was Strike God Valkyrie. So, the chances of, the, of Hasbro doing these bays are very unlikely. It seems like too much work for what Turbo is. But that was just uh, on the side. Overall, I think this was a pretty fun episode. And I am hoping... That the more that Aiga progresses, I hope that maybe it's, it'd be awesome if Free, Volt, and Shu all go together to Dead Grand's castle to go against uh, Aiga or the whole evil organization. Because I'm pretty sure Volt wants a rematch with Aiga. I, I'm really excited for the new Chozetsu Valkyrie. I think all the setup and all the build up for everything has been pretty good. It's not the, as bad as like. The launcher set, so like I just breaks this launcher, just gets the new stuff. Even though it's like it obviously it's like anime based around toys, how they um, manage to bring in all the stuff works uh, well, I would think. Of course, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We will have a quick battle though, which is going to be uh, Dark Achilles against Hazard Kerbeus. All right. This will be interesting. 
I don't think I've actually done Achilles against uh, Hazard Kirby. Kirby Kirbyus. So that was an attack mode. Kirbyus does do a cool move where it uses the chain to sort of uh, break on the stadium and make a comeback. Oh, a sticker fell out. Oh no. Oh no, that was just a, this random chip off the bay. That's weird. He was doing some nice hits. All right, so that's Kirbyus. So now we're at one all. We'll do up to like five points. Poor Achilles! Okay, Kirby's was just about to burst too. Achilles! Whoa! These bays really go crazy! Let's try to do one more match. I think I can actually burst Kirbyus. Whoa! I actually lost! No! Hey, nice double burst though. Nice double burst. Let me find my level chip. It just flew out. We'll do one more round and I'll switch it to another mode. And yeah, this battle was a lot of fun. I actually want to do more battles on the stadium. Bursting me again. All right. I guess if this were a real battle, it'd be differently. But that was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comment section below uh, which battle do you actually want to see next and what were your thoughts on the episode. But as always, have an awesome, blissful day.